different people use energy differently. Some want to be warmer, some want to be colder. Some use little energy, others use a lot. Governments want to improve people's lives by increasing energy efficiency. This will reduce fuel poverty and fight climate change. There are many technologies that can help us be more efficient and many ways to use less energy. But which solutions work best for different consumers and for the population as a whole? How can everybody be more energy efficient? You may have heard the term epidemiology used by health professionals. Suppose there's a new medicine. It's not just tested in the laboratory, it's tested in the population. Some people may get better, some may not change, and some may get worse due to unintended side effects. You would not want to adopt a new treatment without knowing these risk factors. Likewise, we need energy epidemiology, the study of energy use in the population, to help us understand the complicated ways people use energy. We need to understand the current level of energy efficiency across homes, business and utilities, the factors that affect energy use in different groups of buildings, and identify where the most savings and benefits can occur. For the consumer, this means real-world evidence-based guidance on how to cut their energy bills. For governments, it means accurately monitoring their energy efficiency policies and initiatives to see which provide the most benefit. If we know what is really working, we can invest wisely to make the world a more energy efficient place. If you want to find out how UCL researchers are helping governments, industry and the international research community apply the results of energy epidemiology research, Visit the C website.